Hello there, this anonymous oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. How are you guys? Buon weekend, as we say where I'm from. I haven't said that in a minute. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to be using this deck. This could have something to do with divine timing, which we all love divine timing, don't we? But uh, when I see this six of pentacles, it reminds me of an energy that will come full circle in divine timing. Okay, so divine timing is on God's time. We can't control it. All right. We can't control the when. Yeah, this is the Wheel of Fortune. Something destined is happening in divine timing. The Wheel of Fate is turning. This has something to do with communication. This has something to do with an invite. Okay, we have a skeleton with a top hat with a scroll in hand. Um, the Page of Wands is very communication oriented, but we'll see. Can we get an overall energy concerning this message? This could be a message for the Empress. These cards just keep coming out. With the Fool card, maybe someone, maybe a Divine Feminine is taking a leap of faith or starting a new. Um, this reads like exciting news, okay? So this could be directed to Divine Feminine energy or this could be coming from Divine Feminine. But this is like, I feel main character energy, okay? So you could be attracted to this or could be attracting this in your life, okay? Give me one second. Let me take some precautions because um, <laughs> I already hear. Okay. Yes. I'm like, I already hear people arriving. I'm like, nope, not when I just started filming. All right, let's get an overall energy. Oh man, every time there are distractions in a reading, I just know something's up. Okay, can we get an overall energy for the collective concerning this reading? Six of Wands. So this has something to do with victory, okay? Maybe the finish line is in sight. Okay, <laughs> there's something here where it's like, whatever this is, you're going to feel on top of your game. You're going to feel like you won in life. Okay, whatever this is, this is a victory card with a strength card. You have to be strong about something. Maybe somebody here had a period of time where their finances weren't the best. Okay. They could have been contractually bound to something. Maybe this is something to do with a job. Okay. Or there's just something here that made a person's finances dwindle. Or it's like they had to save. I'm getting this energy of a person... Having a victory, whereas before, they were really, it's giving, because this, this uh, is indicative of a bank here. The Four of Pentacles is usually the card of a miser, somebody who's maybe stingy, not too giving, because they're saving or they're reserving what they have. But this here tells me that someone is getting a victory. I just really, I'm curious what this is about. Let's see what the victory is about. We have the Knight of Cups judgment <clears throat> knight of cups someone here is transitioning they're going to do something now again i don't know who is who here they're going to do something and when they do it they can't come back from it that's immediately what i'm getting someone wants to do something it's indicative of following their heart when you get the knight of cups but the way this, this guy is looking back, it's like he knows that once he makes it through this door, he's never going back, okay? So I'm getting this energy of a person, especially powered by judgment. Judgment is really like a final call from the universe. It's like, this is now or never, do or die, there's no going back. I really get this energy of a person moving forward, doing something, and they know that once they do this, there's no going back. 
A Knight of Cups is someone who could be doing something from a space of their emotion and feeling. So it's not necessarily making a move out of logic. It's making a move out of what's in their feelings. Um, yeah, nine, nine of Cups. Again, feelings. Huh, let's see. I wasn't ready. Nine of Wands. Chariots in the reverse. A crooked chariot. Something feels a little bit frantic. Maybe somebody here could have been delayed. The chariot in the reverse is no forward movement. It's like um, a delay. It kind of came out wonky as well. So I don't know if someone here had a hard time moving forward in their emotions or moving forward in a sincere way at all. With the nine of wands, that's my wounded warrior card. That is someone who refuses to give up. So I get this energy of a setback here. All right. Someone here could have had a setback. Uh, maybe a financial setback, um, a setback in general, okay, maybe their health, I don't know, there's something here where, uh, it's funny, because the fool to my contract card, this person is contracted to move forward, judgment again, yes, this is kind of creepy, it's almost like it doesn't matter what happens, a person is meant to go where they're meant to go, and this is what it feels like, it's that, it's just that written, something is written that's what i'm feeling when i get my cover card with the fool right this is to me like a contract the fool is a leap of faith when i split it i get judgment again something is written the emperor okay so it's written for somebody to move down this now again this almost looks like a portal to me it's like okay once i go through there there's no going back whatever this is is like they're looking back and they know they know it in their soul once I head down this path, I'm contracted to be there. I'm contracted to stay there. This this is like a feeling. And I'm going to explain to you when I had a similar feeling. Um, I was at my old studio apartment. Um, and I, I was to go back, technically, because I was subleasing it. So I was renting it out to this Brazilian girl until I would go back. And... When I, like, I, my apartment was clean, everything was nice, I was ready to hand over the keys to the woman, and I was walking out of my apartment, and I looked back, just like this guy looked back, and I had a very overwhelming feeling. I said to myself, Chanel, this is the last time you're going to be looking at this apartment. That's what my soul said. My soul literally said, this is the last time you're going to be looking at this apartment. I was right. I haven't seen it since. <laughs> And this is how many years later now? Okay. That was seven, no, eight, seven years ago. Call it seven years ago. Never went back. But I was subleasing it. I was to actually go back. But things changed. And then I just gave it up. Okay. I'm getting a very similar energy here. I don't know what this person is leaving behind. I don't know what this person is looking back at. But I have a very strong feeling this person knows this person could be intuitive themselves. With the Six of Wands, it's it's bringing me back to this is a victorious move. So it is victorious for this person to move forward. Okay, this with the Four of Wands, this could be a residential shift. This could be um, a new foundation coming up. But let's see. Seven of Pentacles. This has something to do with this person's investments changing. Uh, this took a long time to come around or where this person used to be they spent up to even seven years there okay when i get the seven of pentacles it's like a time frame seven year cycle i don't know eight year cycle 15 year cycle whatever three years who knows there there was a cycle this person used to partake in and the time is running out this person had setbacks this person um, reads like a warrior with my wounded warrior card it's like i've been through i've been through it i've been through this that that i have so many barriers i had to chop down because you see how this woman looks like she's chopping things down with like this machete thing pickaxe i don't know what you call them okay this whoever this is it's it's kind of i don't know how to explain it but they know we have the Empress. Again, these cards are acting very strange. We have the Star and the King of Pentacles. This is healing energy. This is a wish. This is, again, destiny and faith unfolding. With the King of Pentacles, this the same way this person is carrying a treasure chest, I feel like somebody is carrying certain things or this really feels like this could be a move. 
Um, somebody could be looking at their finances. This could just be like a trip. And yo, I'm telling you, life is so strange. Um, life is weird like that. Like even how my parents met, they're from two completely different places in the world. And when they met each other, it's like their whole life changed and they became very flexible and accommodating um, concerning each other's schedule or where they were at. Like my mom and my dad were willing to move. Like it was very serendipitous like that. And I'm seeing something similar to that. I know people who come to this country and <laughs> they were supposed to come on an internship. Next thing you know, they stay here for an additional 15 years. It's, it's like that. I'm reading something like that. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm grabbing my things. I'm moving forward. This is a very practical energy as well. So whoever this is, is typically more on the practical side. Um, the Empress is here. Okay, that's Divine Feminine energy. Divine Feminine is somehow in here. There could be a Divine Feminine who reads like a healer um, or a nurturer or someone who could be in the public eye when I get the star to the Empress. Okay, and the public eye could be anywhere. Um, maybe you're just well known in your community for something. Okay, maybe you are on social media. Um, doesn't have to be, but I get this vibe of you. Whoever this is for, it somehow involves you. Okay, <laughs> let's see. This is such a weird synchronicity. Um, I had a dream last night where I was covered in butterflies. Um, and it was so funny. I accidentally, I accidentally squished one butterfly. It was this big. And its wing was kind of crooked, but then it stretched it out again and it was fine. But I'm just looking at her sitting here and I'm seeing all these blue butterflies, which is kind of wild. So for some of you, that's a synchronicity for you too, okay? It's kind of wild. <laughs> I'm seeing that here. Mm. What do we need to know? We have the Seven of Cups. Somebody here could be confused about or has been or is still confused about their options. Somebody here could have also picked and picked poorly. I'm getting a confusion around. Oh, I'm also hearing the word distraction. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. This is this is technically a match. With the Seven of Cups, I feel like someone could be confused around what is the best option for them. This could have something to do with um, a person um, stalling or taking their time. Okay. I see somebody here confused about their option. The Emperor. This could be a Divine Masculine energy. Now I have the Emperor and the Empress. This is confirming that there is a Masculine here who is in a position to make choices. It's giving executive decisions. <laughs> it's giving a time to make some executive decisions. With the Ace of Pentacles, that's that new start. Okay, so an Ace can be, as I explained, um, you know, a new place, changing place. It could be a new job. Okay, it could be something, a new lease on life of a sorts, um, a new investment. This is someone who's trying to make a wise investment, I'm hearing. Seven of Pentacles is also a card of investments. It's like, okay, I'm moving this over here. I'm counting this up because I want to make a wise investment. Someone might see a situation as a wise investment. But there is definitely a confusion around the energy, okay? We have strength and we have the four of coins. Someone here, wow. Someone here might need to sacrifice certain things. Maybe someone here is also not wanting to give certain things up because the Four of Coins is again a card of looking at one's assets being or ha looking at what, one, what we have, but at the same time not being in a position to really share. It's like I want to hold on to this strength card. With the Hangman, that can sometimes speak of sacrifices. That can sometimes speak of looking at things differently. Um... Somebody here could have also wrestled with an, an energy that was possessive of something. <laughs> the same way this looks like a wrestling match. Something here could have also been indicative of one's ego or pride with the strength card. That kind of came out weird. This deck is kind of fumbling, y'all. One card at a time. Ace of Cups. Two swords. Why is the Ace of Cups here? 
three of wands, five of pentacles. This ace of cups has something to do with where this person is going. It kind of reads like emotions. You're the plane outside. Somebody could be I'm feeling a very strange energy when this Ace of Cups came out. Someone is really deep in their, submerged in their emotions. So the Three of Wands, there's almost like this person, someone is expecting this person to walk away. This, this transition is expected. This transition is anticipated. Five of Pentacles is deserting things at times. It's, it's the energy of leaving something out in the cold. The Ace of Cups is a new start, maybe even a new, a new emotional start or an emotional blessing. Three of Wands can be like news, um, something up and coming. But this, this kind of like, this Ace of Cups feels very strange and I don't know how to place it. But it has something to do with where this person is going or what they are to experience. Now, for some of you, this is someone um, being open to love. I'm getting this energy of emotional availability. And I don't typically read that. Well, obviously, you need to be emotionally available to accept divine love or to accept opportunities in love. But I'm, I can't place my finger on what this is specifically why does the ace of cups feel weird <laughs> let's ask that these cards six of cups it's something someone is holding on to now somebody here could be holding on to the hope of something somebody here could be holding on to memories somebody here could be holding on to fond memories something sweet it was it's interesting because it was at the bottom of the deck when it came out but it's an energy of nostalgia it's an energy of you see how she's holding on to these cups and it's like she's skipping into the street? It's something dear to a person. Now, there's a reason. It, it, it just reads like... There's a reason this person is heading down that path. Six of Cups can be memories, um, kindred spirit, energy. Yeah, it's bringing me back to the contract. There is a reason. Sorry, Mom. Temperance. Yes. Patience, healing, balancing. And it fell right on top of the, the Divine Feminine. It's like there's... Mm, it's kind of like I'm seeing butterflies again. I'm telling you, this is very significant. These butterflies are everywhere in these cards. And I didn't intentionally pick this deck like that. It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Um... Let's look up what it means, because I know it means something. It's so funny. I still have it in the search. Okay. Transformation changes beauty. <laughs> to open up to the gift of inner sight and outer worlds. Oh, it has something to do with one's love life, one person says here. You can be trusted with delicate things. Guardian angel reminding you that you're not alone. There's definitely a shift in one's experience, but it's also like when you think of butterflies, they're very gentle. You shouldn't <laughs> accidentally crush one like I did in my dream. And I was like, Ooh, and then you just see it like it fixed its wings back out. But there's something here about... I just get a gentle energy, the same way this, it gave me Earth Angel energy. Something here is definitely a healing experience. Someone here might see that as a wise investment, because I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles, which is this person's watering these flowers. It's an investment. It's effort. Um, tell me more. This is kind of weird. Something is tripping me out in this reading, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Can I get one card? These cards. 
Two of Pentacles, the Tower. When the Two of Pentacles is typically a juggling energy. It could be an energy of maybe somebody being off balance. Um, so if something is off balance, there could be a sudden shift that occurs to bring it back into balance. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So let's say someone's back and forth energy. Um, a shift occurs to get that person on their right path. It, it's what it feels like. Okay, the tower is here. Three swords. That's an energy of, could be a betrayal. It could be a sudden backstab. It could be somebody finding out about a betrayal. Five of Wands, that is most definitely a betrayal. With the lovers at the bottom, Five of Wands can be um, fights, drama, chaos. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, I always say this reads more like a transformative connection because this is like two butterflies. Look at the butterfly coming back again. So I'm getting the vibe of someone's chaos, someone, something, some form of upheaval is what caused a shift for balance to be restored, as weird as it sounds. Okay. So let's say one person was really in low vibration. When a sudden event happens, it's like aha moments are had, sudden changes occur. Um, so how does it go from this negativity, the drama, to the right path? Does the drama push somebody on their right path? It's so strange. It's like this energy is giving me more questions than answers. Okay. It's kind of weird. Tell me more about the five of wands. The world. Yeah, spirit is saying that it's like the chaos is closing itself out. So it's almost like it's time. You see the time factor again with that hourglass? The world is a card of a cycle closing out and a new one beginning. So it's almost like this chaos is causing to end itself, which is an energy I had in my Capricorn season reading. So it's 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 giving me this drama is what's closing the cycle out the best way i can say it is it's like oh i just need a spoonful of more toxin for me to finally be done with it right yeah wow hang man yeah sacrificing that letting it go seeing it finally for what it is the divine orchestrated this with my hierophant that's my god card behind it um it feels very heavy too i'm gonna grab this deck to kind of put this into words okay these cards are very weird listen to your intuition so this could be pushing a person to really listen to their gut it's funny that I, mm, it's so crazy that I mentioned that ex, that experience because how would I know? I was meant to go back, guys. I was meant to um, do my internship, um, be partake in this competition, and then go back to that same studio apartment. And, and I knew with every fiber of my being, I listened to my intuition and I looked at that door and I looked <laughs> inside and I closed the door and locked the door. And my intuition said, this is the last time you're going to see that apartment ever. And it's true. I ended up moving <laughs> somewhere else. And my sister was like selling some of my furniture and all kinds of stuff. My friends, it's like, I had no time to go back. I never saw it again. Something similar is happening here. It's kind of creepy. Okay. Somebody here could have gone to therapy energy cleanse yeah this toxin this chaos is helping a person pick and pick wisely not pick and pick poorly i feel like someone did pick and pick poorly and something happens where it's like this person knows this is the last time i'm either gonna be here see this person look at them again like there's something like that in this energy guys it's so weird we have twin flame and closure. Somebody here might desire closure or, or an explanation from a divine counterpart. I do feel that here because we have the emperor and the empress. 
Yeah, there's definitely a soulmate here. My goodness. I have twin flame and soulmate. There's a soulmate here. These are a matching suit. And when you put them together, <laughs> that's what I find so funny. When you put them together, it literally becomes one image. You see the skull head <laughs> in the background? They're a match. Eternal love at the bottom. It's kind of creepy like that. This These readings are kind of weirding me out. Eternal love at the bottom. Okay, so this, this is a match. Um, I'm just getting this weird feeling. I can't excuse. But it's destined. It all starts with the Knight of Cups. This person knows something. Message from Spirit. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. Spirit communicates with us in many different ways. It's so funny that that came out and a, and a uh, parrot just was like screaming outside. But yeah, nature can give us symbolism. Our dreams all kinds of stuff okay someone is knowing secret admirer somebody who could have hidden their admiration for another okay with the knight of cups that's admiration celebration there could be a celebratory energy coming around here take control that's the emperor all right someone here is taking control of their life that's what it feels like that's the intention i just get this very weird energy Very weird energy. <laughs> Let me see if I can get another deck. I'm seeing <laughs> these cards are crazy. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Feminine here again. Can I get some clarity? Nine Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So someone is increasingly getting more and more anxious as divine timing comes around it's like someone is getting more and more anxious more and more like uncomfortable because divine timing is nearing so a cycle is closing and a new one is beginning right and this is again someone is very anxious about their investments in general this is someone who doesn't want to, as I said, pick and pick poorly. Um, once the overthinking diminishes, this is someone who can come to a conclusion. Like, what is my truth? Okay. It's like from this nine swords, which is mental anguish. Um, this is someone who will reduce it to four. And that's when they make their informed decision. Okay. That's what I feel like. This is someone who's bothered. Yeah, this is a mental uh, prison. Who is this energy? Eight swords. That's restrictions. This is someone who... Oh, wow. This is kind of weird, yo. Five swords. That's that upheaval. That's that sabotage. Could be of other people. You see, this This reads like... The, it, this can go two ways. I feel like... Whoever this is, right, they could have been in a seven-year cycle or they could have been in a time frame where their experience was mentally very restricting because swords are always about mind, speech, thoughts, right? I mean, the cards speak for themselves. This is someone who's going through it. They feel beaten down, maybe mentally overwhelmed. Um, there's a lot of overthinking going on, but that has something to do with the energy and the pressures, okay? I have a friend, right, and he is studying to become a doctor, and when he was explaining to me, he said, the last year I've been so anxiety-ridden, Chanel, and I, I have up until February to know whether I continue this study. Um, that could help with my ultimate goal, but it's not necessary, or I stop it and do something else. Okay, it's not mandatory, but it could help with his eventual PhD. And I said to him, I said, listen, Greg, <laughs> you know, you you have to listen to what your spirit is trying to tell you, okay? Um, I feel something like that is happening. It's like somebody knows, it's like their spirit is trying to, to warn them, trying to tell them they're getting signs. Um, and I have a strong feeling like this person, like we all have free will, right? 
This is an energy that's on a path and this person is holding off because they don't want to make the wrong investment because they know there's an energy here where it's like the next seven years of your life, for example, are going to look like this depending on what you choose to give and receive with now. This is someone who's holding on to their coins. It's like, how are the next X amount of years of my life looking like if I do this, if I do that? That's why this person's nervous, okay? So you could be in that phase. Um, with the five of swords, this person could be getting manipulated around them. It's funny because this person said as well, like, yeah, I went to a parent and my parents said this, that, that, and the third. And it's like, yeah, it's so easily... You can get advice from other people, but only you and your spirit knows what is right from wrong. This is someone who's using too much of their mind to make these choices and less of their like heart and their spirit. It's like they forgot that's like a hidden tool as well, if not the best one. Because some decisions you can't make with logic. I'm sorry, you can't. This is someone who's maybe used to be relying on logic Five of Cups is here. Seven of a very confused energy. With a Page of Cups, this could have something to do with communication. This is someone who could be grieving their previous choices. They're grieving their previous choices. This is, again, grief, anguish, and despair. And this could result in this person trying to seek advice. I'm telling you, this is a very, like, what do I do kind of energy. There's a lot of despair in, in the air. It's almost like once they let go of outcome and listen to their intuition, you see how this person is in a meditative state? They've let go of their maybe mm, the mental mind trap they've had for themselves, their emotional imbalances, and they just listen to their spirit. They know that they have to take action in a particular direction. Now, I can't say what that is. That action could be to quit, that action could be to move, that action could be to say yes or no to someone or something. That action looks differently for all. But they don't get to that ching if they don't <laughs> calm down. Whoa, <laughs> this is quite, well, yeah, this person could be split in the middle. It's like they're trying to plan, they're trying to make sense of a situation. Um, what is this, bro? It feels so important too. Strength. They maybe need courage for something. They maybe need to put their pride aside. They maybe need to stand up to someone. We have the magician in the reverse. And we have the emperor again taking action. We have the knight of cups in the reverse. Someone here um, could have been insincere um in the past are there someone around this person who is manipulating them emotionally the knight of cups in the reverse is like it's an energy of false promises it's an energy of ass kissing i'm just gonna say for what it is the magician in the reverse is also very manipulative okay so there could be that energy around and it's like with the emperor yeah nobody can manipulate an emperor it's like why would you try to manipulate the boss <laughs> okay it's, it's it's a more powerful energy um all right it's kind of weird the star yes bring me back to what is destined to happen okay this is a very strange energy let me see if i can get some soul's journey lessons hopefully this makes sense to somebody purpose i know what i'm here to do this is why this feels like a fog to read through is because this person has a divine purpose so it's like all roads lead to Rome. If someone goes outside of what they feel called to do, they are going to feel confused. They are going to feel mental anguish. They are going to feel uncomfortable. They are going to feel grief. They are going to feel all the things that come naturally with going against your soul. This person has a purpose. It's very specific to them. And that's why they don't feel comfortable. It's like there's no rest until I'm on that path. Again, this path could be a job. This path could be a location. This path could be a person. This path could be anything, but this this is something to do with this person's divine purpose. And it's like they could get to it sooner if they honor their spirit, if they just sit and rest with themselves long enough to make that decision. This is also maybe like a guilt-ridden soul because when I get so much like mental... Ugh, 
it's this person feels guilty about something maybe this person feels bad maybe this person feels unworthy whatever these feelings the card says i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth this person has many negative ways of thinking this person in 17 swords it's like a spiral it's confusing when it's really quite simple <laughs> okay Damn. failure Ooh, this person i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn it's like fail forward this is someone who feels like they could have failed something okay they might feel bad um and again like the f word is so negative <laughs> but it's like you failed so you learn and what are you going to do swim in that or are you going to move forward knowing now what you know and didn't know then like you know it's kind of like you stub your toe and maybe you need to stub your toe an extra 20 times before you realize you know what this is probably bad uh, there's a lesson in everything it's like just be appreciative for the lesson and move forward with integrity um and and having grown in some way right this is someone who's who's really their self their, their self talk is very negative. This person might want forgiveness. This person might not feel release until they maybe apologize, okay, or vice versa, forgive themselves. Who knows? But um, harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. This person needs to lighten up a bit, okay? Change. Well. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. This is changing them. But this is also changing things around them. Maybe this person doesn't feel abundant unless they change their or make changes concerning their choices, concerning what they invest in. This is someone's either divine masculine or divine feminine, okay? So this could be a man or a woman who... Is coming to this like critical point where they just feel so uncomfortable, so like <laughs> it's a mental pressure I'm feeling to step into who they were always meant to be or delay it further. It's really up to them, really. It's kind of like this could go on for another X amount of years before this person comes to the conclusion and says, No, wow, no, there this situation requires change. I'm hearing I'm failing myself, okay. They have a purpose to walk into. If they choose it, that's when they rest. That's when they get out of their head, When once they honor that. Yeah. Well, that a horn. <clears throat> Let's see if there is a... Um... Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, for some of you, this person is just very much so focused on the, 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 the minor details. This person could be very self-critical or critical of a situation to a point where if they don't zoom out and look at the grand scheme of things, they will forever be nitpicking at themselves, nitpicking at others, nitpicking at, at things that might not even be significant in three months. It's, there's an energy here of somebody just looking at a million and one terrible things and drawing those conclusions when spirit is like, just look at the grand scheme of things. You might not understand it now, but if you get out of your head long enough, you'll know what to do. You'll know how to move. You'll know what path to go down. You'll know what to choose. This is someone who's being encouraged to look at the bigger picture. Something could have happened since Sagittarius season. Okay, that was like, what, December? End of November, December. All right, this is someone who needs to relax, bring love into the situation, be loving with themselves, others, okay? I'm going to leave it there. I might do another reading because this reading was very confusing. It's almost like I can swim in this person's energy and it's like, uh, it's grief, it's mental torment, it's discomfort, it's confusion, it's I don't want to make the wrong decisions. It's, it's terrible, <laughs> okay? Right? It's like this person just needs to find their inner compass and follow it no matter what happens, right? Because I feel like this is someone who's been going against themselves for a very long time. They've been going against themselves. Okay. This person needs to take control of their life. This is someone who might have lost control. Okay. This is someone in a soulmate connection. All right. Teaching them things. 
All right, this person might need to clean their energy. Um, all kinds of stuff is here. Listen to their intuition. <laughs> I could keep going forward. All right, this person might also struggle with emotional availability. So if you are shut down from your heart center, you're making decisions based on the mind and the mind alone. And, and it's like, mm. <laughs> okay, it's like, yeah, this person, this card feels very ominous to me. I don't know if this person cried, like, I don't know what it is, but this card feels very dark. Maybe this person associates emotion with pure darkness. Maybe that was the only experience they had, okay? There's something here that's very dark in this card that I can't really explain. There's a frog on the image, which is a card of transformation, or it's a symbol of transformation. So somebody could be going through emotional change right now. The dragonfly is also very transformative. And there is one of those praying mantises. Let's see what it means to see a praying mantis. I know that's significant. Great spirits, praying hands, wealth and luck. It's a good omen. Hmm. When you need strength, you need to be powerful. You need to know your own surroundings. It's like a symbol of guidance. Unearthing hidden opportunities. It's a need for introspection and self-discovery. Yeah. So uh, this person could be discovering emotions they never knew they had. Okay. But they're, the way they feel is illuminating a truth they should honor. Yeah. That's what I feel. The way they feel is illuminating a truth they need to honor. Otherwise... They they forever sit in this really... It feels a little bit low vibrational, y'all. I'm just going to get out of it, okay? This is someone who... Um, oh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to leave it there. Hopefully this made sense for somebody. I'm going to be doing another reading to get out of this energy. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.